Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god, dude. I'm literally beaming these kids, bro. Like, there's no there's no other way to put it. What is going on, guys? It is I, Pro Player Apathy, back with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be showing you guys a XM4 no recoil class setup. Now, if you've been following the pro scene or just been knowing about the XM4, this gun is incredible. A lot of the main ARs are using it, and pro players are absolutely loving it. In my opinion, it's too good. Okay, guys, so in today's video, we're actually going to show you the class setup first, and then we're going to go to some incredible gameplay. So stay tuned. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It helps a lot. For the variant, we're going to be running the Black Tide. Now, the XM4 actually, actually has a lot of pretty cool variants, but enough of that. Let's actually go to the class setup. So these are the perks. I am rocking Gunfighter. I feel like XM4 Gunfighter is pretty much needed. Um, it makes the gun way better and basically you're allowed to use it at its full potential for the optic We got the micro flex and the micro flex is a must on the xm4 not a fan of the mill stop Obviously, you can use what you want to use but the micro flex every pro player is using the micro flex I personally love the micro flex and it's just the best uh, one optical, you know scope you can use on the m4 for the muzzle We are gonna be running the socom eliminator now. This gives you a lot more vertical recoil control Obviously, this attachment isn't allowed in the competitive scene. So if you want to use it for competitive, you use the infantry compensator. But this gun has a lot of vertical recoil. Now you can see in the stats really quickly, vertical recoil control, 277, horizontal, only 27. So this has a very big kick when it comes to vertical. So obviously, you want to minimize that as much. And the SOCOM Eliminator does just that. For the barrel, we're going to be running straight up extended for 100% bullet velocity. This gun shoots very fast, and when you have a high bullet velocity on this gun, it can kill pretty damn quick. Another attachment I'm really um, very big on is reinforced heavy on this weapon because it increases the max damage range to 91 meters, which is basically anywhere on the map you will kill somebody in the five shot kill range that this, uh, this gun does. But the thing about reinforced heavy is you lose sprinting move speed. And when you're sprinting with this gun with Reforce Heavy, it feels really slow. And the reason why I'm telling you this now is because, well, you're going to see soon with the other attachments. For the body, we're just going to be running up straight up steady aim laser. It's just something I'm allowed to put since I have Gunfighter on. This attachment also is really not allowed in the competitive scene. But for the pubs and to show you how dominate this class can be, you could rock that. Now, this is also really important. We're going to be rocking the field agent grip for, you know, having the most recoil control. We got the 6% to vertical and a huge 20% to horizontal. Now, like you know, like I said, the horizontal isn't a big thing, but just adding that extra 6% to the vertical as well is really nice. I'm a big person when it comes to speed grip. I think speed grip is amazing, but obviously this is a no, first of all, this is a no recoil, uh, basically XM4 class. So you want to minimize the recoil as much as you can. So it freaking beams. Second of all, this is why I am not too fond of reinforced heavy with the field agent grip. But the speed grip, you get the 10% boost in sprinting movement speed. So even though you have the reinforced heavy, you still have a 6% extra boost in movement speed, which is really nice. But the field agent grip doesn't give you extra, any extra movement speed. So therefore, you should stray away from uh, the reinforced heavy. For the magazine, we got the straight up 40 round, the best one in my opinion in there. We got the airborne elastic wrap, such an amazing attachment on ARs and any gun. I always say this, but it's true. This gun, this attachment is phenomenal. Definitely, especially want to have it on any AR. And then now the one thing I would change would be the Raider pad. I just don't have the weapon. Oh, I, I think I almost have it max, but I don't at the moment. So I would recommend the Raider pad. The aim walking movement speed is just so nice on ARs. But for now, we're going to be running the buffer tube for the 30% sprint to fire. Right, we got some domination on crossroads. We are playing some high levels. Um, this is definitely going to be a, probably a pretty good lobby. Now, like I said, the XM4 is being used by a lot of pro players. You can see, uh, first of all, you can see the recoil control. It does not really move and it kills very, very fast. Wow, this shoots extremely straight. I knew it shoots straight, but this is exceeds my expectations a little bit and that's a good thing no help teammate help now i've been actually raging a little bit against this gun because sometimes it just feels like it's too good i don't know if you ever feel like that about a gun like you can, you can argue like the aks 74 you sometimes feels too good um i definitely think the 74 used an amazing gun but Sometimes to me, man, this gun, like, just post it up, like, they're preaming you, like, you just die every single time. 
Oh my god, like that second kill. Like, th what I realized with this gun is you get kills that you're not supposed to get. Literally, what it feels like. Okay, that was like kind of ironic because I literally got that kill when he ran in front of me and I really wasn't supposed to get. But I'll take it, man. I'll, I'll take it. Anyway. Oh, yeah, baby. So, we're like, so we're like, they're still spawning here. They actually have a UAV. I'm rocking Ninja only, so they definitely know my whereabouts. Oh. This guy's trying to spawn kill you. Spawn kill me? Let me teach him a lesson. Don't try to spawn kill me. XM4, no recoil. Lordy. I feel like this gun is a little cheap. If I may ask. If I may add. I don't have no stim. Gonna reload here. Saw him back there, but wonder how the small kill is gonna go here, but we're gonna try either way. Oh yeah, baby. That's the gameplay you love to see. Nice little spawn kill session right there. And you can see, man, I'm 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 like literally barely controlling this recoil. Like, I don't know. I, you guys know me. I'm a big recoil controller. Like, you do have to control recoil. But at the moment, I am barely controlling this recoil because this thing just shoots very straight, man. Ah. Dude, that little cheeky angle. I couldn't shoot him. Oh. Call me Mr. Finesser. Oh, I didn't cap it. Oh my god. Nope, kill you. Activate the harp. And now it's time to terminate some kids with the harp activated. Yeah. Oh, now you can now you can see some beams from that range. Oh man. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho ho. Now one thing I would recommend about this gun is that with this gun it's not the best to always pre-aim like you want to play with it a little bit more aggressively like i am the way i jump shot around corners the way i challenge people it, it's just it's more of a hybrid ar like it's very good up close it's you could also pre-aim like if you're if you're posted up just sit there pre-aim and you're gonna mold them i don't know it sounds kind of weird what i just said you're, you might be a little bit confused because i did like kind of confuse you guys but Basically, what I'm saying is you don't ever want to like strafe like this. It has a very slow strafe with these attachments. You always want to either be posted up pre-aiming or you, you want to be just zooming around like this and challenging people. Dude, these guys, why do people play so scared, man? It's so annoying, dude. Like so annoying, dude. You know what I mean? But seriously, you know this gun is really good when even you have submachine gun players pulling it out. Like it's, it's that good like that's what like that's when you know a gun is like broken or like very good is when you have smg players on a team when your role is an smg like i'm an smg i've pulled this gun out before in control like there's other pros that are smgs that pull this gun like for certain hills or for certain maps like they'll run it for like a life or two because it's amazing man it's a, it's a do it all type of ar like why wouldn't you you know like this guy look at that guy like you these kills are like I mean, I'm just demonstrating to you guys. Like, I can't, I can't kill that stoner guy. Though, I'll be honest. But seriously, guys, you guys gotta try this no recoil um, XM4 class. You're gonna absolutely love it, dude. This, dude. Oh my god, dude. I'm literally beaming these kids, bro. Like, there's no, there's no other way to put it. Like, I'm literally beaming them, bro. 86 and 29, almost 12k damage. Not like cr the craziest game ever, but it was a pretty damn good game. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. The no recoil XM4 is actually freaking absurd. It was a ton of fun to use this gun. Man, you gotta try it. Trust me, you're gonna absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, like I said earlier. If you did, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you in the next one. You can check out my other videos while you're at it, while you're waiting for the new video. I have tip videos, I have gameplay videos, I have it all, man. So check them out. You'll learn something new, you'll improve, and you have some fun. Okay, bye. Love you. Oh, I mean. <clears throat>